<laughs> now, you may not think to look at it, but this is in fact one of the oldest buildings in Royston Vesey. This humble, wacky warehouse <laughs> was once the site of a Roman encampment, and the spectres of three legionnaires are being sighted floating 20 foot above the ground. The theory being they are marching over a timber bridge long since perished. Locals have given the trio of spooks colourful nicknames as it is possible to see right up their little Roman <laughs> skirts. So we have Bollocks Maximus, <laughs> Little Titch, and uh, Sheila. <laughs> Our final destination, no pun intended, is this patch of waste ground. It may look quotidian enough, but it was in fact here that I myself believed I had witnessed a phenomenon. A cowled phantom, half glimpsed in the shadows. How was I to know it was in fact a youth in a hoodie, <laughs> who had somehow attached himself to the back of my tour group. Undiagnosed paranoid schizophrenic. <laughs> butcher's knife concealed in the waistband of his trousers. <laughs> Three people died that night. <laughs> Real terror on fatal ghost tour. <laughs> Is local man cursed? <laughs> Tragedy hits modern Mick for third time. <laughs> Many people would have been broken by this. I know I was. <laughs> Hence that final walk to the old night Aldi and the purchase of the two bottles of Domestos. <laughs> the desperate scribbled note. The burnt out windpipe. <laughs> You see, Patricia, the magic lies in the fact that although they are rabbits, really, mm -hmm. they talk and act like people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk about you, Patricia. When are you gonna make an honest man of myself? I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Well, you make a beautiful couple, you, Patricia, with your fine skin and shapely bosom. <laughs> and you are, with your good health and thick body hair, which he has inherited from his pop, together you will produce superior children. Oh, well, we've only just met, really, Mr. Ralph. Call me Pop. Pop. Trish is a very cautious person, Pop. She likes to think things through. What is to think about? You meet, you fall in love, you marry, and then you come and live with me. Because <laughs> Pop will have a daughter as well as sons. I mean, Assam. <laughs> anyway, drink, drink is good, is good. You know, Patricia, I'll not have a proper girlfriend. Imagine this, 39 and still no girlfriend. I used to weep at night thinking he might be American. <laughs> American? No, American! A poof! A six stabber! Pop. She works in the hospital as a nurse. She's got a great ass pop. I would like to fuck her very much. <laughs> oh, I say to him, you'll be a man! All my life I try to make man of my son. When he's a little boy, we sit down, watch a video together. One of my favorites. Watership down? No. <laughs> no, it's called the Ass Master. <laughs> he's German. He's about a guy with a video camera and he goes around filming beautiful women. Then he takes them to his hotel room. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah. What's the matter, eh? Huh? Perhaps now you have no use for your dirty movie. Now you have met your wife to be, eh? Huh? Mind you, Patricia has real class. Not like those television whores you like so much. You will not find Patricia making lesbian action on the floor of an Austrian bar, eh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, Patricia, I have to make a kiss. <laughs> Al, I am going so sorry. Please stay a little longer. You want to go to bed soon? It's like a great big bed. Hey, hey, hey! What are you talking about? I'm just talking, Pop. You chat away like a pair of real lovebirds. But you're Patricia, she will not talk to me. Why is she so shy? <laughs> is she frightened of her new pop? 
No, we are all friends here. <laughs> all friends. <laughs> James, you're very cute. 
I'd like to tickle your belly button from the inside. <laughs> Don't pretend you haven't tried it. <laughs> Is he your boyfriend? First date? <laughs> How long? surface of the moon 
or removing individual crystals from a snowflake. Imagine that, boys and girls. Just going to uh, charge it up. That's the machine calibrate. Obviously, I'll narrow the focus of the beam for the operation. Dear. Hey, Plop Plop is a little distressed by the colours, sounds and shapes. <laughs> I think I'll take this opportunity to give our friend a little sedative. As it's obviously imperative that Plop Plop be as calm as possible whilst I slice through those nasty old cataracts. There. There. Now, laser, which stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation, was developed in... Do you know what? I'm just going to make a tiny adjustment to the chair, just to make sure that Plop Plop is in the optimum position for the operation. There's a little screw, I think, somewhere here in the front. If I can just find it, Plop Plop will be as right as ninepence in no time at all. <laughs> so 
she gives a decent performance. <laughs> Who or what the frig are you and what are you doing writing on my card? If we had been here on time, we would know by now. My name is Kathy Curtis Smith, and this is now Cuphead. <laughs> no, I, I think you're in the wrong room, dear. If you're after the Rose West lookalike competition, it's downstairs. <laughs> That's rich coming from the woman that was baptised at SeaWorld. <laughs> What's your blood type, Nutella? <laughs> Excuse me, who do you think you're talking to? Well, according to my report, a 50-year-old psychotic lesbian. How dare you! I'm 48 and I always will be. What do you want me to do about it? Roll over and shit walnut whips. <laughs> 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 Do that again. <laughs> you are a dinosaur, Pauline. You've got to get with the modern age. It's all about faxes now, dial up modems. I bet you've never even heard of a Sony Walkman. This material has not aged well. <laughs> <laughs> The only job you're ever going to get is if Monkey Man here pays you to give him one. <laughs> and then what happened? I was sent to a women's prison for attempting to kidnap Ross. The click click. That's right. And after I was released, you and I ended up in a romantic <laughs> relationship. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
As an actor, I regret that. <laughs> An empty coffin. Oh no, Ross! I think you're right. new material. 
I need a song from the heart. Les, show me who you are, for Christ's sake. Tell me! I guess I'm just a simple man I've never really had a plan I've just been taken Wherever the wind it has blown It never really blew me far From Middlesbrough to near Redcar
teachers are drowning in more and more red tape. We didn't drown them! And council workers are being cut every day. We did do that! Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to flip through my manifesto? Sir! Edward, Edward! Hello, hello! What's going on? What's all this shouting here? Have no trouble here! She wants to lick my funny mesto! <laughs> the election. Local election? It's a by-election, actually. Yeah, swinger, eh? <laughs> a two in both camps. <laughs> Gobbling down every dish on the menu. Omelie, omelie, omelie. <laughs> Here, I used to be in a war. We had to find our own solutions. I made do with a hole in a cabbage, but at least I had the decency to marry her. <laughs> Immigration. You must have noticed a huge influx in strangers coming into your shop. Young, most of them. Yes, in gangs, one or two. Wanting to browse, wanting to finger your precious things. Yes. Yes. You represent change. We don't like change. We don't even give change. <laughs> Silence, cabbage. Come to Modern March. Tell me more of these conservative party um, policies. Yeah. Certainly. And I'll show you how I hold an election. Edward, can you hear me? I saw you in my dream. Edward, don't forsake me. He's not coming, is he? Tops, is that you? Quickly, Tom, so we haven't much time. I've rigged this entire wife mine to explode in less than a minute. But, Edward, what about the other wives? There's hundreds of us down here. I won't leave them. Don't worry, Tom. There's someone here to help us. But who is he? What does he do? He can tell you himself. <laughs> Fingers in lots of pies. <laughs> They're just not my fingers. Uh, Come on, hurry up. I've loaded the rest of the ingredients, uh, the ladies, into the van. You will take care of them, won't you? Oh, yes, I'll take uh, special care. <laughs> <laughs> not so fast. You can't take a property that isn't belonging to you. Come to Papa Dave. You know you. Sorry, Mr. Lazarus, she's my wife. 